Okay then, today's joystick of the day is from a Binatone Colour TV Game Mark 10. This is probably about as simplistic as it gets. It's also the first joystick I ever owned on any system. Yes, because it was the first TV game I ever owned. It's a, from a Pong machine. Um, late 70s, early 80s in fact, it was in colour and rather than just the back that went like up and down you could move it backwards and forwards as well because you had a joystick instead of a paddle. It is uber simplistic but it's actually quite comfortable the way it sits in the hand like that. I mean it's for all that it's simplistic it is well thought out and like most analog joysticks of the time it is hypersensitive but hyper accurate um, you can move it just a tiny little bit and the movement on the screen will be consistent with the movement on it. It seems like some modern joysticks, analog ones even, uh, it's like there's a layer of some kind of padding between you and the sticks. The movement is is interpreted somewhere by the software. With this, they, it was just like... It seemed like a direct connection between your your movements and what was on the screen. But they did also go wrong. Um, the... I don't know what the thing is, a rear stats or whatever. The, the gubbins on the inside, it basically wore out. And when that happened, your thing on the screen would be like juddering about and not doing what you were telling it at all. Um, fire buttons would occasionally stop working because they would take a real hammering. But yes, that is, um, that's the first joystick I ever owned. Binatone. TV, colour TV game Mark 10. They made umpteen billion different models of TV game, all based on like Pong on a chip, which was licensed from, uh, what's the names? Magnavox. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for, <coughs> thank you for watching.